I am hardly a football aficionado. Most of what I know from playing the game comes from video games like Super Techno Bowl or Blitz. Hey, I'm the Game Collector with Second Opinion Games, and today we do our review of Troy Aikman Football for the Atari Jaguar. Second Opinion Games Okay, if there's one truth I know is that when it comes to sports games, the more time you spend with the game and learning the mechanics, the more you'll end up enjoying this. Troy Aikman Football the exact same thing. The more I played, the more I wanted to keep playing. Also, it might be a little slow to figure out the controls at first, but once you start getting into it, you start having a lot more fun. Before you know it, the controls even start to feel a little fluid. Even using the number pad to do a stiff arm, or pressing one and three together for a touchback, even start to feel natural to you. I admit, I don't think the controls are perfect. For example, the same game is also released on the Super Nintendo, where it takes advantage of the buttons a lot better than the Atari Jaguar does. But the buttons are easier laid out on the Super Nintendo, and the Jaguar has this huge number pad. Also, over the Super Nintendo version, the frame rate seems to be a bit better, and the graphics are clearer. And that is a huge difference. Frame rate in these early football titles is very important. I tried to play some Madden on Super Nintendo, and the frame rate was so bad it was unplayable, even after a few games. That being said, Troy Aikman Football is by far better on the Atari Jaguar than on the Super Nintendo. The music here is far from unique. Basically, the only time you have any music at all is during the menus, which can be good at spots. This menu screen here sounds a little upbeat. Other than that, in the game, there's really no music. But that's okay, because it's really not about the music. The grunts and people talking, first down, and all that stuff sounds absolutely great. It even sounds like someone's doing their best John Madden impersonation to try and get you in the feel of the game without stepping on anyone's copyright toes. Ready. So overall, the game is relatively deep as well. You can even change the salary of each player. I honestly don't know what that does to improve it. Maybe they play better if they get paid a lot more. Maybe. Other than that, there's really no one's names in the game other than Troy Aikman himself. The game plays great, and that's what you want out of a football game. Just great gameplay. Overall, I might just stick with Blitz, but regardless of that, when I'm in the mood for a good, real game of football, I'm going to turn to Troy Aikman Football on the Atari Jaguar. Ready, set, hike! It's a great game, and it's probably the best football game not to have Vikings and Barbarians and Swords on the Atari Jaguar. But that's just my opinion. Thanks for watching. Ready, set, hike! It's good! <laughs>